Alright guys, welcome back once again to a snapshot review. I'm here bringing you guys everything there is to know that's going to be included in Minecraft 1.9 when it gets released. So first, let's talk about the new effect that we have. It's called luck and it's basically going to affect how lucky you are in game. So let's say we have a mob loot that is kind of rare, rare. So carrots or potatoes from zombies, bows from skeletons and stuff like this, even rabbit foot from rabbits, of course. So these loot are kind of rare, but if you have the effect luck applied to you, you're going to get a bit more lucky. So these um, drops will get a bit more frequent, if that makes any sense. It's also going to affect how lucky you are when you're trying to fish for treasures or cool items in the sea. So let's do a quick example. And first of all, let me tell you guys that this um, this effect is available in all sorts of potions as well as the arrow of luck. So far, there is no way to craft or to brew this potion, but it still exists in the code of Minecraft and you can get these items in creative. All right, so let's do a quick example. I'm going to get, give me all the chances I can have. So I'm gonna put the weather to um, rainy or just rain. And I'm going to drink a potion of luck. And uh, I'm gonna give myself this luck of sea level three fishing rod and see how, um, what could be the best treasure I get in only one catch. So let's wait here a little bit. By the way, the rain increases your chance of getting a bite. And hopefully we get one real soon. There we go, it's coming and we got a fish. So bad example, this is a really bad example. Let's do a little cheaty thing. So let's give myself some of the um, effect level 100 for 100 seconds. Let's try that. I'm hopefully gonna get something really good. So earlier I did do the exact same thing and I got an enchanted book that's just crazy good. Hopefully I'm gonna get this or something similar with this bite if it ever wants to come and bite the bait. Hopefully five more seconds. If it doesn't, then we'll forget about it. All right, there it is, it is, and we got Lady Pat. Wow, I'm just so not lucky. This is crazy. So whatever, let's forget about that. I'm gonna show you the book I got when fishing on my first time. This one, Mending level one, of course, Fortune level two, Bind of Arthropods level four, and Fire Aspect level two on one single book. Granted, these enchantments aren't really the best when all combined, but it's still quite a good catch for a first bite with a fishing rod while under the effect of the luck effect. All right, let's clear this effect real quick. There we go, it's gone. Okay, so let's now move to the right side all the way to this right here, the Ender Crystal. So in my last video last week, I showed you guys that you can get these by killing the uh, um, horse traps, stuff like this. So skeleton horses, when you kill them, you get this. Well, this doesn't hold true anymore. It's different now. You can actually craft them. So you cannot get these from killing a horse skeleton. It's only if you want to craft it like so. So let's do a quick example using the crafting tables right over here. Put the eye of ender in the middle, gas tier bottom, and then the rest is just glass blocks or just glass just like this and you get an end crystal again remember you can only place these end crystals on bedrocks or um, end stone so that's a, a thing to keep in mind so that's pretty cool a lot easier to get <laughs> instead of just killing horse skeleton this is going to be a lot easier to get if you can actually craft them all right so now the end rod used to only be available in the um, end cities, but now you can also craft them and they're crafted just like this, a blaze rod and a popped chorus fruit at the bottom, just like this, kind of like a lever, but not a lever. So you get blaze rod, popped chorus fruit, you get four end rod. And this is just great because you can actually get these before killing the ender dragon, which will allow you to make some creative or make some really cool looking buildings and stuff like this. So yeah, all right, let's move forward to over here. 
and there is now a way to craft the tipped arrow so these are only a few of the tipped arrows there is there is a lot more than this so there's a ton more just like these ones over here so these are just a few of them and here are the uh, potion so strength potion strength arrow a lingering potion of fire resist fire resist arrow you get the point so basically the way you get to craft these is not using is not while using a crafting table it's actually kind of an in-game crafting recipe so if we take by example the uh, lingering potion of leaping take a bow take some arrows and let's go into survival real quick for this example just like this the way you craft um, tipped arrows it's basically by throwing a lingering potion and then shooting arrows through the particle clouds of the um, potions just like this throw that shoot a couple arrows over here and then when it's done or whatever just like this you can actually walk over here pick them up and you see that I now have four um, arrows of leaping which is pretty cool and also you saw that the particles kind of disappeared as soon as I threw the or as I shot the uh, fourth arrow that means you can only craft four of these arrows per potion so that's just a thing to keep in mind they're not really easy to get but it's actually not that hard as well so that's pretty cool I really like the way you can craft these items kind of uh, with an in-game recipe so yeah let's move on to the spectral arrow which as you may or may not know will allow you to um, see mobs through blocks so let's test it with this pig over here shoot the pig and then you can still see the pig through the uh, the stones over here through the hay bales so it's pretty cool and you can now craft these arrows by surrounding a um, an arrow by or with four pieces of glowstone dust just like this and in return you get two spectral arrows that's also pretty cool and next and the last thing to talk about is that hay bales will now reduce fall damage you can kind of do uh, things that's gonna look a lot like a an um wow I really can't find the Assassin's Creed there we go it's kind of like Assassin's Creed you can go up a thing go down jump into a stack of hay bales and actually not die so fun fact the max height you can fall from is 100 blocks if you're just no armor is no further falling and also if you're falling on any hay bale if you have feather falling level 4 I think the maximum height you can fall from is 169 blocks without dying so that's pretty impressive let's do a quick example right here right now if I fall from this height I'm going to take two hearts of damage that's actually pretty good now let's try that again and actually fall on the ground instead of falling on the hay bales and we'll see how much of a difference we take um, in damage so let's take a look at this right here right now right over here wow I took nine hearts of damage compared to only two that's a whole lot uh, a big difference in the damage reduction when you're falling on hay bales and actually if I remember correctly I think you only take 20% the amount of damage you would have taken if you would have fallen on the ground but when you're falling on hay bales, only 20% the amount of damage. That's pretty impressive. A cool feature to keep in mind in your world in Minecraft 1.9. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. You can also go check out my Facebook page as well as my Twitter page to get updates when new videos are coming up. And again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day.